Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Bearhawk plays Catch Up Boost Production, also Sun and Fun Holiday Flying Festival set for December, and Honeywell releases Cloud Connected Cockpit System. Happy Friday, I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We have a packed episode for you ahead of the weekend, so let's go ahead and start with coming hot on the heels of a successful air venture showing. Bearhawk Aircraft has announced increased production at its factory to meet increasing demands for their Bearhawk Quick Build Kits. The company has expanded their offerings in recent years to plan and kit form for five models in all. The original Bob Barrows designed Bearhawk 4 place the two-seater patrol and their newest addition, the Model 5. Introduced in 2020, the Model 5 six-person seating and 300-plus horsepower engine selections have made it an attention grabber at Air Venture. Mark Goldberg, manufacturer of Bearhawk kits, made an appearance at Oshkosh, which he described as very busy for us. The crowd was undoubtedly attracted to the Model 5 sitting on 31-inch Alaskan bush wheels at the front of our booth. We had a ton of interest in all our models and the most sales ever at the show this year. Bearhawk aircraft may be poised for solid growth as the home building industry continues to grow. Goldberg described his conversion into the Bearhawks community when he found his home built Vans RV8 somewhat lacking in unpaved airstrip performance. His original four place Bearhawk was built at the launch of his kit manufacturing business, where he now offers a much simplified process. After the break, Soyuz crew joins with ISS for Expedition 65 crew. More news after these messages. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Bepi Colombo sends first shots of Mercury. The ESA's Bepi Colombo mission returned its first photographs of Mercury surface. The probe represents a joint collaboration between the ESA and its Japanese counterpart, the Aerospace Exploration Agency. Launched in 2018, it is currently en route to carry out a full analysis of its composition, magnetosphere, and inner workings. Though the closest approach passed within 107 nautical miles from the planet's surface, it did so over the night side, leaving visible daytime pictures from a further 540 nautical miles. Possible Boeing 777X freighter inbound Sources close to the usual buyers have spun rumors of Boeing's upcoming release of an old freight variant, the twin-engine 777X, faced with flagging sales and deferred orders for passenger liners, whispers of Boeing's courtship of large freight operators seems probable. So far, Singapore Airlines, FedEx, Deutsche Lufthansa, as well as their DHL unit, have likely been offered the product, which could be announced at next month's Dubai Air Show. Coast Guard Jayhawk rescues teens near Selawik Lake. 
A Coast Guard air crew rescued stranded teens when their family reported them missing following a hunting trip. The missing teens had reportedly departed the day before aboard an 18-foot flat-bottom vessel for a day trip when they did not return the night of October 4th as planned. A Coast Guard Jayhawk helicopter was en route to the approximate search area when an Alaska state pilot found the teens and their wayward boat on the western side of Selawick Lake. The Jayhawk immediately diverted to their location to land and recovered the teens. Soyuz crew joins with ISS for Expedition 65 crew. The Soyuz spacecraft met with the International Space Station on October 5th, bringing its three crew members to seven already aboard the Expedition 65, an unusual mission for the Soyuz crew, as they brought with them Russian actress Yulia Peresilt and producer Klim Shipenko for the first space flights under a collaboration between Roscosmos and Moscow media companies. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. Sun and Fun Holiday Fly-In Festival set for December. The date is set for the second annual ACES Sun and Fun Holiday Fly-In Festival and Car Show at their Florida Expo campus, taking place on December 3rd and 4th. The Expo is a fine excuse to head down and enjoy Florida autumn. Proceeds from the event will go to benefit scholarship programs and education at the Aerospace Center for Excellence. Any Sun and Fun event will sport some of the best aeronautical display around, and the holiday festival is no exception. Featuring two days of air shows, crowds will see some of their favorite warbirds in action with appearances by the F-35, F-16, and P-51. Static displays as well as a show plane exhibition for every type. All are welcome, including warbirds, vintage, home-built, light sport, and aerobatic aircraft. The holiday fly-in is open for any competitors to show off their planes. The Florida Classic Stole Competition will start on Friday, as competitors compete for the prize in the qualifying heats. Open practice begins on December 3rd. Open to all competitors with 125 aircraft competing for the top six spots in their class. After these messages, Honeywell releases new Anthem flight deck. Those details after the break. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link hand control unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. The Zephyr is what you have always wanted. A highly capable two-seat turbine-powered helicopter with great ramp appeal. 100 mile per hour cruise speed, 172 nautical mile range, and to top it all off, a first of its kind emergency airframe parachute system, the Curdy Design Zephyr. Unique, advanced, innovative, and highly capable. Your ultimate freedom machine is available now at zephyr.eu. Welcome back. Honeywell has released its new Anthem flight deck, a cloud-connected flight deck system that features an always-on connection and touchscreen. Eschewing the usual connections for updates allows for seamless updated maps, unified consumable status tracking, and flight plan transfer. The new flight deck is suitable for every type of aircraft from large passenger planes to general aviation craft. And as the segment expands air mobility vehicles with the ability to wirelessly check status, update flight data and track the usage of time limited parts, the pre-flight flow could save up to 45 minutes each flight, according to Honeywell. Integration with popular EFB apps allow pilots to load and store their flight plan remotely.
users can also customize displays for their particular taste or flight profile in the panels. Pilots can rearrange features, gauges, and indicators as they wish. And a built-in web browser allows third-party developers to run widgets or show websites in the Anthem cockpit display. It has been selected by upcoming electric mobility aircraft manufacturers Lilium and Vertical Aerospace for use in their VAXR and Lilium jet. That does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.